Well, uh, we're at Venture Out Nursery. It's a summer day and I'm in shorts, which means roses to me. Today we're gonna talk about some of my favorite roses and I am going to uh, explain how to grow roses successfully. The first thing you wanna do when you're uh, planting a rose is dig a million dollar hole. And what I mean by that is a very large hole. Then you wanna buy an entire bag of compost to mix into the soil that comes out of the hole. You want to use the native soil, but dump this on it and mix it all up. When you are mixing the compost, you also want to add a, about a cup of certified organic fertilizer. If you do a good job on the hole and the planting, the rose will show it, and it really makes a difference. When you're setting a modern rose in the ground, they have a graft at the bottom, and it's a big kind of ball, and it's pretty easy to see where it is on the plant. Uh, you want to be able to slide two fingers between the graft ball and the ground. So the graft needs to sit slightly above ground and never be buried. Uh, otherwise, the crown can rot. So it's very important that you don't set them too deeply in the soil when you're planting or that no one comes along and buries the graft in bark or compost later. I would always say do a great job planting them and they will reward you. Um, I should mention, of course, modern roses. The deer do like them. So pretty much if you're gonna grow them, they need to be fenced in. Fortunately, I have a fenced backyard, so I get to grow them uh, without deer issues because the deer do like them. Now. The most important thing about roses other than how you plant them is choosing the right rose for the Northwest. It is critical. If you choose the wrong rose and it gets the diseases that plague roses, it ends up looking like something out of Morticia Adams garden and you don't want that. There are, however, very good disease resistant roses for the Northwest and these are some of them there are many others. I'd like to start with uh, a series of roses called Easy. All of them have the, the name Easy in them and they are some of my very favorite roses. So this is Easy Going, a beautiful yellow rose. Never needs to be sprayed and uh, it's a pretty easy one to grow. This is another form uh, and it is called Easy Does It. And Easy Does It is a beautiful orange blended rose. And if you're like me and you like the color orange, this is a fabulous summer rose. This is another rose that's actually a, called a ground cover or a low shrub rose. It's grown for its floral color in the landscape. It's not really a cut flower. You're just putting it in for summer color. So we've got three different real easy roses. I wanted to do a climber, and the reason I am, want to talk about climbing roses is because I love them. This is a rose called Colette that's an old style rose. It's quite fragrant and has a beautiful pink color to it. Roses are big feeders, and when you feed roses, they look healthy uh, and look better. Now, I use an organic food, and what I do is I feed them when I plant them, and then as they get established in the landscape, I'll feed them in the spring as they leaf out, and then I'll feed them again right after they're done blooming. So to summarize uh, today, uh, you can grow roses in your garden uh, with these tips that I've given you today. And again, I reinforce the disease resistant uh, part of growing roses and picking the right rose for would-be gardens. If you ever have any questions about it, you can come see me at Venture Out Nursery.